Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a Sephora Play and an Ipsy unboxing. So I'm just gonna get started off with Ipsy because I feel like they always have like super cute packaging and it's really, really exciting. So I'm just gonna pull these out. And they have this little card that says Ipsy Cash, $5 welcome bonus. Um, it's just this little pamphlet and it doesn't look like this box came with a card. I don't, oh, I think the card's inside the thing. Okay, this is um, this month's bag. It's this cute little egg and he looks pretty miserable. It says Gude, Gudetama, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then the bag, it's just, you know, those cute little butt cheeks. <laughs> it looks like, it totally looks like turkey legs. These little butt cheeks look like turkey legs. It's super, super cute. I feel like this is something Janice would love to have. Um, so Janice, if you're watching this, you're gonna get this pretty soon, the next time we see you, because um, I feel like she would be so obsessed with this. So I'm just gonna open this up, and I'm not gonna look inside. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out the first thing. And it is this Ofra Cosmetics Victory Eyeshadow. I've gotten a couple of Ofra eyeshadows from Ipsy before, and I haven't been too much of a fan, um, just because, I don't know. This color looks really, really pretty. It's like in this little circle sponge thing that I don't think the other eyeshadows have ever come in. But um, I don't know what this shade is called. I think it might be victory because it says victory eyeshadow in the back but it's this super super pretty like a bronzy color i feel like this is a color i would wear maybe every day i feel like there's a it's like a bronze color with a little bit of a gold sheen i don't know if you guys can tell but it's really really pretty i would definitely wear this color every day because you like wearing like bronzy shimmery shades on my lids for like an all over color and then like a neutral crease color and that's like pretty much my everyday look like how i'm wearing right now because it's really really simple but this <gasps> i just dropped it this is a really really pretty color i will be using this i do have like two z palettes that are almost completely full so this will be my newest addition in my z palette the next item is this brush it is called iby beauty and it looks like it's just this, I guess like a crease brush. This is like a really, really small crease brush. I'm trying to blend out this color from Ofra that I just had. I feel like this does a really, really good job. I will be using this, um, but I don't know if I'll use it like every day because it is really, really small. And I'm used to like my bigger, fluffier ones because I feel like they can, you know, cover like more area on the crease. But I will be using this. So this is by IB Beauty. Oh, and it says crease brush. <laughs> right on the back side, it says crease. So it is a crease brush. The next item is this. Ooh, it's from Tarte. It says Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. I have a ton of Tarte blushes. I'm just going to get this right now. So these are all of my Tarte blushes, and they are um, made with the Amazon Amazonian clay, just like how this bronzer is made out of. And these blushes are so good, you guys. They've actually lasted up to 12 hours before. I mean, like, I've tested it out. Favorite is Exposed, because it's like this beautiful nudie brownie pink and it pretty much goes with every single eye color i highly recommend the blushes because i love their formula but let's look at this one this bronzer is kind of orangey and i'm not much of a fan of orange bronzers um i know some people are but i like my bronzers more like you know bronze tone than orange tone because i do have a bunch of yellow undertones because i'm like half chinese but um, I try to stay away from orange bronzers because they don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa. But I will give us a try because I know that it will stay on all day long. I'm currently using the um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate and Dark Chocolate bronzers and I really like those. But um, I'll give this a try tomorrow and I'll see. I'll let you guys know in like the next video or something. The next product is this Caudalie Venusaurus Cream Sorbet Hydra, oh that's not in English, okay, Moisturizing Sorbet. Um, 
it says I'm gonna look up the reviews on this and see if it's good for like oily skin because I'm really really picky with my moisturizers it smells really really good currently use the um, Clinique moisturizer it comes out in this like white cream looking thing it looks like this and let's see it's a pretty pretty thin moisturizer okay so it's not a thick moisturizer and it seems to blend into my skin and really really well i mean it's not a makeup product it's a moisturizer so it's a really light moisturizer i think i might like this you guys i usually use like gel moisturizers because i do have oily skin but oh my gosh it, look it like absorbed into my skin just like that okay i will be trying this out i didn't think i would like it but it seems to like absorb really quickly and not stay on like a greasy mess on your face the next item we have is this trifle cosmetics raspberry ripple ombre radiance blush palette this packaging is so cute you guys it totally reminds me of like the barbie doll houses you know like with three different floors this is really really tiny so this would be perfect for like traveling so this is what the packaging looks like so on this right hand side we have this pink blush in the middle we have like a bronzy pinky gold blush and then on the left hand side we have this like terracotta red color that i am obsessed with i will be using these two because i feel like Exposed is pretty similar to the middle one and that's the one I wear like every single day and the red one is kind of like the NARS Go Lee blush that I have. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I will be trying these two out. I'm actually really excited because these look really, really pretty, except for the pink one because I don't have like fair skin, but I will be giving these a go. I'm just going to swatch this really, really quick on my hand. This is what the middle shade looks like. I think I'm actually going to love this. It looks really, really pretty, you guys. And I'm going to swatch the terracotta -y shade. This is definitely a lot more pigmented than the middle shade. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, you guys. I love... This would look so pretty, but I would definitely use a light hand with this because it is pretty, pretty pigmented. So that is the Trifle Cosmetics Raspberry Ripple Ombre Blush Palette. So moving on to the Sephora Play. I'm gonna quickly unbox this. I was really lazy and I didn't want to cut this box open. So this is what the box looked like inside. I'm gonna pull out the bag and not the little pamphlet thing because I don't want to know what I got yet. This is what the bag looks like. It says Glamp Out and it's in this like pink plaid tablecloth picnic print. It's really, really cute. I'm gonna open this up and take out the very first product. Now I'm gonna look. So this is the oh fibers are coming out, you guys. So this is the Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, I actually currently use the Clinique, I think it's called the Everyday Exfoliating Cleanser or something, but it's in the um green tube, and I use that every single night. So I will try this out. It smells really clean. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this comes out in like this gooey orange kind of like gel formula. I think this is going to be a really, really good cleanser because the beads are kind of similar to the ones that I already use in my other um, Clinique exfoliating thing. And I feel like, okay, these beads don't dissolve, so they kind of stay on there. I'm going to use this tonight and see how I like it. This does foam up into like this white lather and the beads are still there, you guys. I actually like this. I haven't tried it on my face yet, but I will tonight and I'll let you guys know in the next video. The next product is, let's see, more fibers coming out. This is the Fresh Rose Face Mask and it is infused with real rose petals and it hydrates and tones. So I have used Fresh products before. I love their, um, lips no they're not lipsticks they're chapsticks um and they're like all tinted and they have spf 15 and they smell amazing and i really really like those especially when i'm going to the beach because i don't like sunburnt lips but i'm gonna open this up and oh this is really really liquidy okay so it smells like roses i'm not a huge rose fan but this isn't like too overpowering you know 
so i do see like little like rose particles in here like rose chunks this is super super liquidy it seems to glide onto the skin really really well i do love how this isn't too overpowering again um i will give this a try out tonight i feel like a lot of the products that i'm getting are kind of like skincare products and i can't like actually test them out on my face right now so we will be traveling within the next couple of months or so and this is like super handy dandy because it is pretty small and compact for my little uh, makeup bag the next item is more fibers coming out this is the wonderful deep conditioning mask by madam cj walker um, I've heard of this brand before, but I've never tried it out. Okay, so this is a hair mask, another one that I cannot try right now. But let me open this up and kind of show you guys the texture. Why is this thing so hard to open, you guys? I don't know if you guys can hear like the background, but Lee is like right over there watching Masha. So I apologize if you guys hear like a bear screaming or something. So I cannot get this thing open for the life of me. Um, I will include a couple of b-roll clips of the texture of this mask, but I will be trying this out tonight because I need to wash my hair tonight and I'll let you guys know. Um, the current hair mask that I'm using is by... Let me go get it right now. So this is the current hair mask I'm using. It's by Macadamia Natural Oil, and I love it to death. I would highly recommend this mask. So I'm gonna see how that CJ Walker uh, mask compares to this one because I've been using this one for years. I use this every day. Well, not every day. I use this every time I wash my hair instead of like a regular conditioner. The next item in the Sephora Play is this IT Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I I actually haven't used any um, IT Cosmetics products before. I have wanted to try their CC cream, but I feel like they don't have enough shades um, for my skin tone and I would probably have to like mix a couple of shades or something, which is a super hassle. <laughs> Someone just rang the doorbell. I'm just gonna open this up and see how I like the wand. Okay, so this is a wand that's similar to my Lancome mascara that I use every day. Um, this is like a wand that I would actually use because the mascaras that usually come in these like beauty subscriptions, they're like really thick and they're kind of similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara wand, which I don't really like because I feel like my lashes get really, really clumpy. I will be trying this out because I actually like the wand and this is like perfect for travel since we will be traveling within the next couple of weeks. And yeah, I'm gonna see how I like this. Okay, one more thing. It doesn't say it's waterproof, which is okay, but I would prefer waterproof mascaras because I have super oily skin, which means I have like super oily forehead, cheeks, nose, eyelids, and everything kind of like comes coming like streaming down by the end of the day. And my mascara is kind of like down here if it's not waterproof, but that's okay. I'll see how I like this. So the, let's see, I think it's the second to last product is this Guerlain perfume and it's called Mon. And it is this, um, let's see what it says. This is not in English. Okay, it says the. So I am super picky with my perfumes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. I usually don't like the perfumes that come in like these beauty subscription boxes. Um, the perfumes I usually like YSL Black Opium, um, Amazing Grace by Philosophy. Let's see, there's um, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb and. Um, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. So that's kind of like the range of perfumes that I do like. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. If I don't, I'm gonna give it to my aunt because she loves perfumes. So that's that. The last product is, oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. It's the Tarte and it says nothing else. Um, it says set sale, so I'm guessing this is a lipstick. This is so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is like a color that I would wear every single day. I'm gonna try it out on my skin. Do you guys see that? That thing glided on so smoothly. This is so pretty, you guys. This is really, really pigmented too. And it looks like it's kind of like a satin finish. I'm gonna try this out on my lips really, really quick. This is like the only makeup product that I got. No, this is the second makeup product, no, third makeup product that I got. 
So this is what my natural lip color looks like just for reference. And I'm gonna try on this Tarte lipstick. I feel like this is kind of like my own lip color. This is really pretty, guys. What do you guys think? I really like it. It is really, really moisturizing. And it's really pigmented. And it's really like smooth and not drying. I feel like I want to get the full size of this. This is really pretty, you guys. I really like it. I feel like this would actually last me probably like a month or so. Because a little does seem to go a long way. That is Tarte's lipstick and set sale. Excuse my bun. I didn't realize how droopy it was. But that's okay. So I think that's the last product from the Tarte box. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys got in your Ipsy or Sephora boxes. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.